Hi everybody, welcome to Kate's Face. Are you ready to get messy? <laughs> I'm gonna do some messy stuff in my journal. It doesn't always work for me, but I'm determined to just keep practicing and playing. And I've got stuff in my drawers that I never use, uh, mixed media things. So I watched Barbara from 49 Dragonflies do her, her uh, video for this prompt and was super inspired by that. So here we go. I've got dirty hands, just so you know. I've been playing with my fountain pens and filling them up and that's why I've got ink on my fingers. So I'm sorry about that. Uh, right, so... I'm not, I've learned my lesson about spraying water directly into my journal. It just makes such a mess. So I'm not going to do that. I don't have any watercolour paper either on me, which I wish I did, but I don't. So I'm just going to use some cardstock. This is kind of textured cardstock, but that's okay. Got my paintbrush here and I just need to just dry it. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is put gesso down on this piece of white cardstock and I don't know if I'm going to use the whole piece that I end up with <laughs> or if I'll use any of it. Let's be honest it might turn out to be a disaster but that's okay because it's actually really really fun. So I encourage you to get your paints and your messy stuff out. Right I need some more. So I'm using a Liquitex uh, gesso acrylic gesso and it's quite liquid it's not my favorite gesso that I've um, had but I'm not buying more until I finish this because obviously we don't I don't use it very often it's not something I do a lot of maybe one day if I could go to a live class that would be good I'm not very good at following things online so much. I like YouTube videos and things, but all right, so that's that part done. And then there's going to obviously be some upping and downing and toing and froing in this video as I dry things. So I'll go and dry the gesso first and then I'll be back. The next thing I want to do is some stenciling onto here, and I'm going to try. How am I going to do it? Because I kind of want... Oh well, I won't think about it too much. I'm just going to do it and then we'll see what it looks like. I'm going to use this. This is really old. This is paper texture paste. I've had it for a long time and I had to add some water to soften it up. But I love the way it's quite... It's super textured and it absorbs... It absorbs uh, watercolours and things like that really well because it's got paper in it, I presume. That's why it's called paper texture paste. But yeah, mine's pretty much done its dash. But I thought, oh well, let's get it out and see if we can get any more use out of it. So I'm just going to... I've made a big mess. I'm going to try and do um, some stenciling onto here. The stencil's just one I bought randomly. Uh, I bought a whole lot of sort of cheap stencils on our uh, New Zealand sort of auction selling site. Oops, see that one's already got a bit that's lifted up. So yeah, they weren't expensive. They're not the best stencils. I don't know how long they'll last, but good enough for this. Right, I'm going to lift it up and see what we've got. Okay, what I'd really like to do is join those up, but it's going to, I don't know if it's going to work, so we'll give it a go. Why not? It might end up being quite messy, but it's okay because I'm going to, be my, yeah, that one's definitely got a bit lifting, so... Yeah, 
So there's a bit of a line down the middle there, but that's okay, I think. <laughs> I'm gonna put the lid on that. It's amazing how a bit of water revives it. I need to go and clean my stencil immediately. So I'm gonna do that and dry this off. Right, so I've dried this off. There's probably still a few bits that are soft. The other thing I want to do, and I probably should have done it first, now I think about it, is some crackle paste. Now this will take a long time to dry because I think I heard somewhere you're not meant to use the heat gun on this, it doesn't crackle as well. Again, this is something that I've had for a while, not as long as a texture paste. But I'm just gonna kind of spread it, I think, in the gaps and see if we get some crackles around where these little spaces are in between our um, stenciling. <laughs> I should, yeah, I think I probably should have done the, te the texture paste, the crackle paste first. I guess that's kind of obvious now. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We'll see what happens when it dries. It's quite warm here, even though it's windy and gray, it's quite warm, so it might not take too long to dry. But I'm not gonna I'm not going to rush this step because I do want it to crackle. So we'll see what that looks like once it's dried. Yeah, so I can have a bit of a clean up and then come back to you. Um, and we'll see what it looks like. And I know it doesn't look very good at the moment and it might not look very good when it's finished, but it's the process, that's why we're here, to have fun and see what we can make with the things that we have in our drawers and in our cupboards. Right, so I will see you when this is dry. Right, it's later in the day and this is dry. The crackle paste has crackled here and there and what I'm hoping is that the, the mediums I use will bleed in into those uh, cracks so i haven't thought about a focal point and i was just wondering whether maybe i should have done that before i choose my colors but i really just want to get on with it <laughs> and have a play so i had a play with some other things this one here is using some lindy's uh lindy's gang kind of sprays and they are really shimmery. I don't know if that shows on the camera. And then I've splattered with gold paint. This one here, I've used my watercolor paints. Now, they are super pigmented. Um, you can see here where it's all bled in, into the paint. Um, so I think I'm gonna use these at this stage and see what happens. I think under here actually I've used some of the shimmery spray first. You can see it down here. So I'm just going to go and get it. I'm going to try not to get it everywhere, but that's going to be quite difficult. I'm actually wearing a white t-shirt and I've looked down and it's got um, a few little spots on it. <laughs> Probably not the wisest colour to be wearing. Okay, so let's just... I guess just start. Um, yeah, I'm just going to give it a go. So first, this is just water. And then I'm going to go in with this Lindy's Gang Moon Shadow Mist. And if you can, I don't know if you can see it, it's sort of a brown, but it's got that sort of teal colour to it. So I'm going to So that's that. 
and I actually like that just on its own but um, <laughs> kind of defeats the purpose keeping it really really uh, boring like that so I'm going to keep going over to the other bench to dry it it dries a lot lighter I don't know if you can see the greeny shimmer to it it only shows sort of at an angle so I'm just going to go like this see if you can catch any of the shimmer on it anyway so now I need to decide whether I'm going to go with these bright bluey greeny colors these are my watercolors and they are as you can see super pigmented um, and I'm just wondering whether I might just go with some greens at this stage I was going to put it on this page here it doesn't matter it can go it can go anywhere in the journal really can't it <clears throat> so yeah I'm nervous now <laughs> uh, I might try the green I just sort of sprayed water on here and then just dripped it oh that's quite bright oh well Just went like this. I don't. That's very bright. Um, <laughs> we could spray more water. So it goes further. So there we go. That's what it looks like. Wow, it looks really. Uh, <laughs> It looks quite um, almost fluorescent on camera. It doesn't look quite like that. Right, I'm going to dry it. So that's what we've got so far. You can see the line here through here where my stenciling doesn't quite match up. And now I'm really unsure about what colour to add to this. Obviously I don't want red because I don't want Christmas. And I kind of almost wish I'd gone for blues and the teals now. I can't remember what colour this tealy colour was, but I don't think that will look very good. I might just gonna I think I'm just gonna try this pink. the reds I think we're getting a little bit of mud sort of mixing in it does have a bit of a Christmassy look about it and there we go <laughs> I wonder if I use a brush to get I'd quite like to get some more color into this crackle here right um <laughs> i quite like the pink this is much sort of more red i 
think I'm just going to leave it at that because I don't think I'm going to get any better results by just keeping on adding things to it. I think it will get worse rather than better. So I'm just going to wipe this and then I'm going to go and dry this and wash my brush. So this is what I've got. <laughs> Plus these ones which I did um, when I was sort of practicing playing around. So that's watercolors and that's the Lindy's gang, just the sprays, different colors of sprays. I mean, they're super bright and, and textural and interesting. I feel like this is gonna have need something else on it. However, I really have no idea what. I don't like it next to that, so I think I'll probably put it here. Or maybe it's just that I don't really like it. Um, the other thing I did have is I got some of my lace that I love. And I thought I was too nervous to spray this. But I kind of like how that looks, I think. And then I need an image. I have got some of these beautiful images from Ruby and Pearl. But I don't know if they'll work. Let me just cut one out and we'll see. Because I've been working on my decorated tag as well. <clears throat> This has got some pink and green sort of in it, similar to, to the colours that I've used. Hmm. I don't know whether that needs something else underneath it. Could almost no. Oh, I've got some <laughs> Oh, I don't know. It's really isn't a strength of mine this uh, sort of mixed media thing I love that lace I kind of feel like I don't want to put it on something that I don't really love if you know what I mean so maybe that image is not right another one here that also has some greens in it and pinks and it's a sort of more of a oblong shape to try that <clears throat> I think I prefer that and then there's also this one which is nice and bright which kind of I 
might work as well. I wish you guys were here and could tell me what to do. Like Kate, just throw it away and start again. <laughs> or, yep, use that one or use that one. This has got the right kind of colors in it, but it's a bit small. Yeah, I wonder if there's something I can put this on that would make it work better for me. I've got some just music sort of paper, just maybe some book page or something. I've got a few different sort of shades of old paper. This is kind of like a bit like rag paper, I think. Let's just try that, shall we? I love the raggedy bits. Hmm. I feel like I need it to maybe say something or yeah, to have a sort of sentiment on it. Perhaps. What do you think? <laughs> Anyway, that's my dyeing. Well, my staining. I think I do like. I think I do like the um, lace on here. Or we could maybe. Do you think maybe we only need one bit of lace? Is that the problem? Maybe this one could come from down the bottom like that. That's better, I think. Maybe. And I might stitch this on. Not sure if I put my needle away after I used it the other day. Oh, yeah, there it is. I have to admit, this is a lot of fun, even if the things don't turn out, you know, amazing. Or don't turn out what's in your head or like other people's beautiful things. Because so often I'll look and think, oh wow, I'd want to give that a go, but but it is a lot of fun if you just let all let the result not be it's the means, not the end. I think that's what I'm trying to say. If you know what I mean, it's it's the it's the process of doing it. And of course, if I did it more often, rather than being afraid of it, I would probably get better, I imagine. I don't know. I'll speed this up.
I've stitched along those two edges and we've got our little image here with the flowers. And I don't know whether to sort of tuck her the lace over the top of that. I kind of like that. I'm not sure I should center that image. It looks wrong. I could bring it down a little bit. And I still feel like it's not quite done. I don't think it needs anything like that. But we'll have a look. Not sure I've got anything sort of written out that I like. <clears throat> I have some of these sentiments which are also Heather's from Ruby and Pearl um, that I was going to put in my planner. I was having a little look at my planner before trying to get it to work but I haven't come up with anything yet. And then I've also got these, which I use a bit. They don't really need, to, they don't really make any sense, but they don't really need to. So we could use one of these. Just trying to see if there's anything I love. Nope. I think that's enough thinking. I'm going to glue. I'm going to glue the image onto the paper. We've got, don't get much wriggle room with the art glitter glue, so. And then just making the decision about the embossed paper. I like that sort of better centered actually. I think. I have a few little snippety things. But I'm not sure if they work either. I like that, I think. It doesn't make any sense at all, but it doesn't have to. Perhaps. 
stamp. Got a lot stamped out here. <laughs> There, we could put that like that. And I've got some wee tiny millinery flowers that I wouldn't mind incorporating somehow. beautiful velvet ones which are old my mum gave to me or I could use some of the coloured ones in here that's too big Okay, I think I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs> yeah, I think I will. Right. Oh, so I need to glue down some of this lace, but I don't want to get a whole heap of glue everywhere. I guess a good thing is I've used some of my, this is a very precious piece of lace because I love it so much. And it is old, obviously. They don't make lace like this anymore. Um, well, if they do, nowhere where I live. Okay, so now I'm going to glue this down and I haven't glued the picture down. that up a little bit <clears throat> these pages I do in my journals always give me a bit of a giggle when I go back and I, I look at it and go what was I thinking what was I trying to achieve there <laughs> one day I'll get it right So I'm going to stick that there. I like that little scrappy bit. And then I need to stick my picture down. I'll glue on this one. Ooh. Well, I've stuck that on at an angle by the looks of it. There we go, that's better. I 
Oh, I can't tell what's straight and what's not straight. My little scruffy old state stamp down the bottom. Very old music paper. And then my little flowers. Where are we going to put those? <laughs> I don't know. Just glue them on. Kind of cute. Got a bit flat now. Okay, so I'm going to turn back and see. You know me, I like things in order. <laughs> What do you think? I leave it there with that one. They don't really have to match, do they? I think my decorated tag could go there. And this one could go here, maybe. Right, I'm not going to commit right now. I'm going to paper clip it there, I think, and think about it decide when I come back down tomorrow if I like it there or not so there we go I've made a big mess literally I've made a big mess of myself and <laughs> my desk and some might think even my journal <laughs> Ah oh dear. Okay, be kind to yourself. This is just for fun. No overthinking. I mean, I love the elements. I just don't know if they make a great, you know, a great um, visual thing. So that's, that's okay. But I did really enjoy doing the dyeing and the texture paste. I think maybe the green was not the way I really wanted to go. And actually, you know, when I put the first brown bit on, I actually really liked that. But then I thought, oh, that's just not enough. But maybe that was just that real dark. But then it actually dried really light. So uh, who knows? Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me today. And I will see you again soon in the next video. Bye.